Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Live channel and welcome to my new to me BMW E39 5 Series. Now, as a Volvo channel, I'm sure a lot of you are a bit sort of confused as to why I've ended up buying this car. I do still have the S80 for the moment. Um, and the reason is that Mrs. Steele and I adopted another dog over the Christmas period. Um, so we needed something that wasn't a saloon, something that could fit a golden retriever and a Labrador in. Um, so to be honest, it was a totally um, functional purchase, but I thought I'd get something that was a little bit interesting um, and something that I'd sort of always wanted. Now the E39 5 Series for me is one of the best looking 5 Series generations ever. Um, I've always loved the 5 Series. I think they're just a lovely, big, sort of practical, comfy car. Um, and BMWs, they drive really well. I've driven a fair few in my life. Um, and sort of, it's been on the list to get one. Now, I chose the E39 because I just think, like I said, it looks gorgeous. Uh, the lines of it, it's sort of a, a modern classic. Um, this is now, obviously, 20 years old. And now, before anyone tells me off for not keeping it clean, um, it was clean. Um, I washed it last night because I knew I was doing this video. I've driven to work and um, that's the state of it. So uh, it's sort of a, it's a tough time to be a petrol head who likes to keep their car clean um, in the winter in sort of Herefordshire. But um, yeah, as you can see, it is, um, it's a beast. So it's sort of a, a dream spec of mine as well. I'm not that bothered about M Sport spec. I'm not that bothered about... Um, dark interiors etc what i like is a car that's comfortable um and sort of it's quite stately in its appearance so this is finished in orient blue um it's got the 16 inch alloy wheels here um it's got just a hundred thousand miles on it, 108,000. um it's owned by a chap um, down in windsor um it's had everything it's ever needed it's been very very well looked after um and you can see that i mean these are original wheels 20 years old and there's not a curb mark on them um the bodywork is fantastic underneath all of that awful um, salt and mud. Um, so keeping one of these clean is going to be the name of the game, I think, to avoid any rust. Uh, but with it being a late car, it should be better. Anyway, that sort of thing. Um, it's a 525D, which means it's got a two and a half litre um, six cylinder straight six diesel um, in under the bonnet um so it's it's a lovely engine it's it's the, it's the 530d engine but they've actually shortened the stroke of the pistons which means it actually revs much nicer um it's much more happy to rev and it just it's, it feels a lot like one of the straight six petrols to drive um, but you obviously get the fuel economy it's averaging sort of 40 miles per gallon at the moment now i've done a thousand miles in it already um in just over a week so it's uh it certainly had a lot of use considering it used to only do sort of four thousand miles a year um but yeah it's just it's just a lovely lovely car to drive so let's give you a tour um, like i said it's finished in orient blue um it's got it's an se trim uh, but it's got a lot of options on it uh, which are nice additions so inside as you can see um is proper old man spec um but i love it it is sand leather interior um so sand being the color and as you can see it is in very good condition um it's got the lovely houndstooth trim um veneers all the way down and we've got the sort of full um bmw navigation system from the time um the E39 aficionados, aficionados among you may notice that this wheel actually isn't the correct steering wheel. Um, it's off a 3 Series M Sport E46. I don't know how it's got muddy. I work on a farm, so it's um, got um, muddy. But um, yeah, it's uh, the previous owner put it on. All the multifunction buttons and everything work because the original 5 Series wheel is quite big. And it does mean that you get sort of a sharper turning because that 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 reduced diameter in the wheel which is quite nice but um it is a wonderful place to be we have everything you could ever need we've got heated seats um we've got air con that blows ice cold we've got the brilliant um cup holders here everything in this car was just built to last um everything's solid even the buttons are solid and yeah, I find myself having to press them again because I haven't pressed them hard enough. 
Um, but I just, yeah, I just love the wood, um, sort of the cream leather. Um, and you can just see what good condition this car has been kept in throughout its life. Um, it's going to have a hard life with me, as you, as you guys all know. But um, I will do my best to keep it as nice as possible. Um, this car has also fitted with television, um, which was quite popular at the time. That's the sound of the locks. They sound like bank vault doors locking. Um, so and that's that's an awesome little feature. Um, the previous owner as well has upgraded it so it works with digital TV, which is just makes me laugh, to be honest. And as you can see, our 37.1 MPG of, a, of average driving backwards and forwards to work. Um, that's the car's lifetime average. That's never been reset since it was bought new. Um, so, yeah, you've got your onboard computer in this system. Um, you can obviously set it to recalculate if you'd like. Got GPS navigation. This is quite cool. You actually set the auxiliary ventilation, set it on a timer, and the car will start warming itself up, which is nice. Screen off. Um, television. Um, it doesn't work because I'm so in such a rural place at the moment. I find it doesn't work in rural places. Build up areas has no problem. Um, DSP. Oh, that's all the sort of. You can change echo and all that sort of thing. Um, all sort of the fine tuning of the radio system. Um, this code is quite cool. You can set a, a code that you have to type in before the car will start. I've got a terrifying a sort of a concern that this this suddenly will pack up and I won't be able to put the code in the car will be useless. So I'm not going to use that. Um, one of my favourite features is this. I know it's childish but um it's quite james bondy and i love it um i am going to buy some tapes i think to listen to in there um, but you can see it's all immaculate in there everything is just so nice in this car um and well built i mean even look at this look look how well damped that is it's just <laughs> everything about this car is lovely the glove box so well damped it takes about a minute to come down um and it's solid when you when you sort of shut it um yeah listen to that door listen to the noise of the door it's just so there's obviously a few options been ticked in this car by the first owner uh, we've also got the sunroof here um which doesn't leak works perfectly has been lubricated every year um obviously got all of the lovely um mirrors and everything here um there's the sunroof operation um now it does have an adapter for an iPod, so I can plug in an iPod. No one has one of those anymore. I'm going to be converting that to Bluetooth, um, which is a fairly simple process, I hope. Um, well, I've researched it, and I'm hoping on this particular car it will be. But it, yeah, it's just it's just so lovely. Um, I love the layout of the dials here. Um, typical BMW. So you've got your diesel, you've got your um, speed, revs, echometer. Um, which tells your MPG, and also, most importantly, a good coolant temperature readout, um, which for some reason so many cars don't have. Modern cars, um, but this was the age where people wanted information. People wanted to know how their cars worked, how they were performing, etc. So, um, yeah, isn't she just gorgeous? So, um, let's take a look in the back. Um, it's got tri-zone climate control <laughs> in 2003 so you've got dual zone here and then you've got a separate control for the back as well um just move my jacket out of the way um yeah so you've got the climate controls here in the back and you can just see how immaculate this whole thing is um even the door cards etc another bit of nicely damped um sort of cupboardry i don't know um we've also got sunshades if i can get those on there you go so for any rear passengers and of course the one for the little mirror little window as well um and again all in absolutely perfect nick it's just such a lovely lovely car and spec wise i just i just love it everyone says it's a bit old manny but i think it's beautiful um we've got um interesting two-tone um so sort of the the more touched areas always leaning out leaning your arm etc um is a slightly darker beige color but um yeah you can see the wood is pristine 
no scratches in the wood, the leather. This is a, look how thick this thick this leather is. You can just tell this was made at a time where BMW really cared about quality. Um, one of the things I love about it is that you've got the extra bits. So you've even got the chrome um, door pins here lining in the windows. Same on the fronts as well. Um, it just gives it that touch of class um, that a lot of modern cars don't really replicate. Um, and it is just, oh, I love it in here. Um, it's brilliant. Um, and then... It's got the built-in dog guard here, which is epic, built into the parcel cover, or the, the sort of shelf, uh, as it were. Um, and then split fold tailgate, which is a feature I just love of BMW hatchbacks or estate cars. Hatchbacks don't have them. The estate cars or the hatch rear ends. Um, and then obviously we've got the boot here, which is equipped with soft close. It just brings it. Closes itself, which is quite nice. Um, and then in the back, we have plenty of room for two dogs. Um, and as you can see, it's just been looked after so well. Um, all this dirt in the back is, as you can see, from my boots for rugby last night. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a lovely, lovely car. And the engine is smooth as butter. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on the first drive. Um, just because I think that sort of deserves a video in itself. I'll talk about the characteristics of how it drives. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this car. And you won't believe what I've paid for it. Um, when I tell people, they laugh. Um, we've also got the electric seats on both sides as well, which is a nice touch. Um, and you can even see, look, this is 20 years old, this tread plate. There's so few scratches on it. Um, yeah, I don't, it's it's just mad. Um, memory seats as well. It's just it's just so well equipped for its age um, and comfortable. So um, yeah, put your thoughts in the comments below of what I've paid for this car, um, and I'll reveal it in ten seconds. So if you pause the video or want to want to contribute into the game, um, then you can. But I paid just three and a half thousand pounds for this car. Um, which for a big luxury estate car um, with low mileage for its age, um, a brilliant engine and plenty of space in the back that's in this good a condition, um, I think that's an absolute steal. So um, very, very happy indeed. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know. Um, obviously, it's not a Volvo. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing wrong with it. But otherwise, it's just... It's a lovely, lovely car. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've ever had an E39 or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next video. Cheers.